going on guys? Today we're going to talk about a very important subject. But before we get into that, if you want to talk about how to build a business, there's a link below that will take you to a short webinar. Well, not a webinar, a questionnaire. Take you less than a minute to do it. And then you can book a call with me where we could talk about you getting into a mentorship program. That link's below. All right. So one of the things that I have wanted to do, let, let me just go ahead and tell you something that I did. I went ahead and opened up myself to taking phone calls to talk to individuals about starting businesses, just to get some information to see where these people were or where they were not. And it was very, very illuminating. Here's the thing. Everyone wants to make more money. Everyone wants to start a business. Everyone wants to do this, but there is no plan. There is no plan of action. There is nothing. They here in their mind, they know what they want. They know what they want to do. They know what they want to set up. But when it comes down to actually having a plan of attack, actually sitting down, doing the things that they need to do to go ahead and to situate a situation where they are able to turn this plan into reality. That's one of the things that's missing. So if you want to make money, you need to have, <laughs> make sure this is down. You need to have a plan to make money. Now, what is a plan to make money? Number one, this is a really big, big issue for a lot of people. I want to make money. I want to start a business, but I don't know what I want to do. Hands down, that was one of the biggest, biggest things. Hands down, that these people wanted to make money, but <clears throat> they had no clue, they had no plan, they had no setup, they had nothing in the way to go ahead and facilitate and to set up <clears throat> the plan to make money. There was nothing going on in doing this and setting this up. No, another thing that's a problem, people have this habit of delaying action. I was talking to folks on the phone and you know, it's like, well, you know, I just want to kind of chill out for now and I'll start that at the beginning of next year. There is no rabid plan of attack. There is no, and one of the things you will consistently see is that people don't have a plan. Number one, they don't know what they want to do. Number two, there's no plan. Number three, there's no attack strategy. So if you want to make money, you need to have a plan of attack. You need to have an attack strategy. You need to have set yourself up. I'll give you an example. Years and years ago, when I was in the storage auction business, and I, let me go ahead and explain why I go way, way back. When I go back to the storage auction business, and I talk about the things I did, it is not radically different than the things I do today. Because there are certain things that work well in any market. There are certain things, you know, number one, you gotta have a product. Number two, you gotta have an audience, which is gonna be your potential customers. This, this doesn't change. So when I go way, way back, I want you to understand that this was the foundation era for the principles. This was the foundation era for setting this stuff up. This was the foundation era for literally learning how to sell because, you know, I actually had some phone calls this week, which were sales calls and unbeknownst to me, cause I haven't sold over the phone in a long, long time that I'm actually still pretty good at selling over the phone. And that kind of shocked me because I haven't done it in a while. But this is the, this is, we have to go back to the era where I developed these skills and the action plans and the things that I did. So number one, when I was selling storage auctions, I kind of had to figure out a lot of stuff. I had to figure out, number one, the storage auction business. Number two, 
how to sell the stuff. And number three, how to move and warehouse the stuff. There was a lot of problems that came with the storage auction business in terms of scaling up and making a lot more money that I had to solve to actually do well in the storage auction business. So during this phase, I had to develop multiple plans. Number one, plan to go to auctions. That was kind of um, really strategy field, figuring out how to go to auctions, what auctions were worth going to. Then another plan was how to buy these auctions. And then number three, how to move the stuff that I bought. Number four, how to prep and clean the stuff that I bought. Number five, how they advertise the stuff. See, there, there's steps, there, there's steps, there's multiple steps. There's not this one little thing that you can do. There are multiple steps that you must put into any successful business. And this whole thing of, I want to make money, which is good to know what you want to do, but it needs to be further than I just want to make money. It needs to be deeper than I just want to make money. It needs to be broader than I just want to make money. Because once you get into the planning, once you get into putting together the stuff together, and once you actually start to get into business, things change. And this is another thing. Let's say you're a person that wants to start a business. You don't know what you want to do. You don't really have a plan, right? Get started. Why? Because once you get started, this is going to open up the doors to the things that you need to do to begin to start moving forward. It's going to open up multiple doors. It's going to open up many doors for you to start moving forward, for you to start actually doing the things that you need to do to be on a bigger stand. It's going to open up many, many doors. Starting. And also, you will find out if you like the business or you'll find out that you don't like the business. You will find out really, really quick, really, really soon. Because this is another thing, during these phone calls, I, I got a lot of, I wanna, but I'm not gonna. I wanna, but I'm not gonna. Essentially, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, but there was no real plan of attack. There was no, real plan of how to set this stuff up. There was no real plan of how we're going to go forward to do the things that we need to do to become really, really successful. There was no plan. There's no plan. And without no plan, there will be no money. You must have a plan to make money or there will be no money. And this is one of the things. Um, years ago, and once again, going way back because this is the, the principal era. This is one of the places that you should begin to start. This is when I started to develop my skill sets. Skill sets of writing, skill sets of sales, skill sets of copy, skill sets. So what you wanna do is start developing the skill sets to make money. Now, I am not someone that's gonna tell you quit your job and start your business. I am not that person because number one, I think you need to keep your job and then start your business on the side because the beginning is going to be kind of rough. The beginning is going to be kind of slow. So we have all of this stuff that's going on in terms of us building, creating, and setting up businesses. So you must have a plan. You must know what you want to do and you must go ahead and begin to attack this in a very different manner. So this is one of the things, once again, you must have a plan to make the money. And there are many, many different levels to putting together your business and putting together your plan so you can make money. So here's one of the things I wanna do. Below in the first comment is a link to a short questionnaire and you can set up a phone call where we can go ahead and begin to put you guys into the mentorship business, the mentorship program, where you can learn all the steps that you need to take so you can start to build your business, so you can become 
a very successful person in the future. It doesn't matter where you are right now, we're talking about where you will be in the future. So that link is in the first comment below. All right, so I will talk to you guys in the next one.